Whoa, wait a minute. Can it be? Oh, no, no, no. Not you too? Tim, you got catfish? <sighs> sure did. And I ain't afraid to talk about it. Now, for those of you who don't know what catfish means, you're probably getting catfished right now. It's the act of assuming a fake identity on social media, particularly to pursue deceptive online romances. You see that old man? Yeah, that's Keisha. And you about to find out real soon. Oh yeah, welcome to the 21st century. Now this story happens back in early 2006. Now at the time, MySpace was the largest social media platform in the world. Wait a minute, you've never heard of MySpace? You don't know my man's Tom? All right, put everything down, I'm gonna put you on game. The first social media site was created in 1997 called Six Degrees, but by 2000, Are You Hotter Now was the new kid in town. But that only lasted until 2002 when Friendster came along and shook things up. Unfortunately, everything fell apart for Friendster by 2003 because of Big Brother MySpace. Now MySpace shook the whole world due to the ability to customize your profile by making them public or private and thus creating catfishing. However, like everything in the world, all good things must come to an end. By 2008, MySpace was overtaken by Facebook, thereby making Facebook the largest social media platform in the world. And as of today, we have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. Thanks for the 60K followers. See, the rise of the internet with dating sites, chat rooms, and virtual reality simulators has allowed people to become whoever they wanted to be. Don't like the way you look? Oh, you a baddie now? Don't have a job? Negro, please. Bow wow challenge. See, the truth is, many of the perpetrators of catfishing don't believe they can be loved as they truly are. So it is only through lies that they can have relationships they so deeply desire. Now, back to the story. So one day I was chilling with my boy Wes, and he started telling me how he's been having the best luck with the ladies lately. Now, I wasn't completely convinced because, on God, Guys lie all the time about how much pussy they getting. So he was like, dog, you think I'm lying? Check out this new chick I'm dating. So he proceeds to pull out his phone and shows me her picture. Damn, Wes, that's you? Yo, she bad, bad. Where'd you meet her? All right, man, I'ma tell you, but don't clown me, all right? MySpace. MySpace? Like the website MySpace? I'm telling you, kid, this is it. In a few years, everybody's gonna be getting girls in social media wait 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 so you're telling me all of a sudden people are just gonna stop talking face to face and use a computer to get shorties nah fam dead ass i'm telling you this the future swear on my mama it's easy all you gotta do is check out our profile and if you like her send a little message that's it okay now in case you didn't know Sliding in the DM was actually considered lame in those days. Get this right, people actually talked to each other, face to face, before dating. Not write messages and hope somebody replies back, but I figured since I ain't got nothing to lose, I'ma check this out. So I get to the crib, log on to MySpace, and hit the browse button. Bam! My screen was loaded with the most beautiful women in the world. Oh my god. God, this was a gold mine. I couldn't believe it. So I filtered the location, searched for girls my age, and the first result was Stacy. Mm, mm, mm. Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. Brown skin, dark hair, voluptuous Stacy. Girl looks so good, make you want to marry a nigga. But still, I was nervous. I didn't know what to say. What if she's not feeling me? I don't want to come out like some creep on the internet, but I summoned all my strength and wrote the dopest message you could ever write. Something real smooth. Hey, Stace. What's up, girl? God damn, you fine. Girl, I know they say milk does a body good, but damn, how much milk you drinking? Send. Now, all I had to do was wait for a little while to see if Stacy was feeling your boy. Literally 10 seconds later, I get a message. Open it. And it's Stacy. Oh shit, this is crazy. Girls never hit me back this fast on my cell. The message says, Hey, handsome. Already knew I'm in. Baby girl hit me with the three Y's. Okay, everything was looking good so far. Stacy's real cute. She's responding back, but I still wasn't completely convinced. I needed some more proof. Now, 
it's 2020, right? So there's no reason for anybody to be catfished. It's too easy to spot a catfish. First, check the profile pic. If it's too good to be true, it's probably fake. Most people use their cell phone to take pics, not some perfectly shot, cinematic looking profile pic. Second, use a video chat, like FaceTime, house party, WhatsApp. So if the person refuses or keeps finding excuses not to show their face, nigga, hold this L. Third, and most important, you ready? Trust your gut. If it don't feel right, fam, it ain't right. Now, this was back in 2006, so of course, none of these rules existed. So, here we go. So I wrote back, okay, Stacy, I see you with your bad self. Girl, how about you send me a little pic of you holding a red cup? 10 minutes later, I get an inbox. Open it, and it's your girl Stacy's pic. Oh, shit, it's really her? With a little message on the side. It reads, now it's your turn. How about you send me that pic? Mm -mm. Hold up, Stacy. I don't even know you like that. So I hit her back like, girl, you ain't ready for all that action. You see that? That's a no and a yes at the same time. Take notes, kids. So we talked for about 30 minutes, and by then I already knew I'm bagging Stacy. So I hit up Wes back like, Wes, my nigga. Yo, that my space is the bomb. Just met this bad chick, and I'm about to hit. You the man. Nah, you the man. Bruh, for real. I owe you for life, fam. I'm going to hit you back and tell you all about it. All right, cool. Hey, Tim, follow the gems. Got you, fam. So fast forward about a week and Stacy and I finally decided to meet up. So she sends me her address. I get in my ride, drive all the way to her crib, get there, and wait it in the car. So I see her open the door, walks her sweet, beautiful legs through those stairs, gets closer to the car, leans over, I roll the window down, and it is at this moment I knew. Congratulations, Tim. You just played yourself. God damn! This chick looked nothing like my Stacy. So I rolled the window back up, started my car, and dipped. Not a word was said. I rushed home, called my boy Wes. Yo, Wes, I thought you said my Stacy legit, dog. That chick looked nothing like her profile. Dog, it ain't funny. Damn, Tim, what she look like? Like your mama? <laughs> My man's got. Moral of the story. Use FaceTime. Till this day, I haven't figured out how Stacy got me. To this day! What's up, fam? Thank you for coming through one more time for your boy. First of all, thank y'all again for subscribing. Your boy hit 30K, over 30K. Sheesh! I didn't know it was going to blow up that fast, man. Keep it coming. I'm going to keep that grind going. Appreciate you, man. This is love from me to you, man. As always, stay safe, and I'm out.